Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the details for the new LR Int Goku. That is the light that defends the green planet, which is a hell of a name. But basically, yeah, we are going to take a look at Goku, just see how good he is. So, Goku is a movie heroes or final trump card category lead of 150%. I'm kind of over the 150% meta. I think nowadays with how hard events are, LR characters really need to get a leader skill upgrade. It just hinders them being run as leads. Like, no one wants to run 150% lead. It's just very weird. So, barring that, the categories themselves are pretty decent. Final Trump Card, Movie Heroes. Movie Heroes is always a decently strong category. Final Trump Card also includes some really solid units. In terms of his passive, key plus 5, attack and defense of 150%, an additional 100% when performing a super attack or facing only one enemy, an additional attack and defense of 30% up to 150 when performing an ultra super per existing enemy count starts from the second enemy. So what that means is you don't get the 30% just by facing one guy. I think that's kind of a mistake for me because I don't know how many stages you're gonna face six enemies in. Even in SBR, that's just an unusual amount of enemies to face. So that's a bit of a shame. He gets an additional key plus five for facing two or more enemies. And then has an additional key plus five and attack of 59% for the rest of battle after delivering a final blow. Final blow mechanics are fine, I think. The big run of final blow mechanics are in stages like Merge the Masu, uh, or in stages like Goku Black, or even First Form Cell, um, which are all great examples because they like only two phases, which gives you only one opportunity for the final blow, or they just one phase, so you can never get that final blow. It's okay to lock attack behind it, I guess, but it does just hinder a unit uh, if there's no other way to get it. I would love it to be after delivering a final blow or the 12th attack, and, you know, even if it's that high, it's, it's just something. It's a backup plan. Then I get an additional attack of defense of 100% when he is 21 or more. So we have a lot of multiplicative effects here. You know, 100% uh, when performing super, 100% when key is 21 or more, which just means that he's going to be one of those units that has good defense after supering. Good defense after supering, he benefits a lot from support on the rotation. Just one of those guys. He has the same warrior race, all in the family, same lineage, Z fighters, prepared for battle, fierce battle, and legendary powers as link sets, which is all fine and dandy. He then has the active skill, which can be activated when HP is 59% or less, starting from the third turn from the start of battle, or when facing only one enemy starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle, which is again a bit weird because this whole passive is about facing multiple enemies, but then his active skill can be activated when facing only one enemy, or your health has to be low, which is a bit strange. Massively raises attack and causes ultimate damage. So for one turn, he's going to double his attack and then you can take things from there. In terms of his super attack effects, he has greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to the enemy, which is pretty interesting. He then greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy on his 18 key. Overall, I think personally for me, Goku looks fine. I would say... We'll look at his animations, those are very strong for him, but honestly speaking, I think my biggest issue is having a baseline Goku like this. We already have, I think, two almost baseline Gokus. We have the Strength Kai Ken Goku, we have the AGL baseline Goku. Having another Int LR Goku, we have the physical one as well, is a bit strange, um, and more so from the perspective of making him a second slot unit. I know he wasn't necessarily tanky in the Turles movie, so it does to a certain degree make sense. But it just feels like he doesn't do much. This guy feels like the cookie cutter of LRs. You know, good after super defense, going to do nice chunky attack stats with support, and in a certain situation will look really, really good. That's kind of about it. We'll take a look at the animations now, but yeah, I think overall he looks okay. Uh, animations are really really good his leader skills pretty solid he is pretty solid but he's kind of like the six and a half out of ten of units for me so in terms of animations i think overall they look really good really true to the source material and i think you know movies are where they shine they seem to really get inspired 
you know, by referencing the movie material, I think the movies are naturally higher quality as well than the series. So they do really well here. Um, I wouldn't say Goku's animations are anything majestic, but I would say that they're pretty good. Um, I think, you know, personally for me, they look really solid. So, yeah, Goku definitely, like I said, 6.5 out of 10 kind of unit. Um, nothing wrong with them. Nothing particularly insane with him. I don't think he's a bad unit. I don't think he's a top 10 unit in the game. It's just one of those kind of guys. Just really solid unit. But that's it for me. See you guys next time. Bye.